It's about that time. What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, CJ, a.k.a. No Limit CJ. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time watching, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Y'all, be part of, just be part of the NLG, bro. No Limit the Gang. So that's where you're supposed to be part of. Today, we're going over the best next-gen point guard build. Now, 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 I know you guys seen your typical play shot, stuff like that. I'm bringing back my three-point playmaker to the next-gen game. This build come with contact dunks, like 90-something badges in total. Like, this build goes absolutely crazy. Make sure to like button, subscribe. Let's do what you got to do. Let's get straight to it. Point guard position. Left hand, whatever jersey number, bro. Let's go 90. Height, you want to go 6'1". 6'1", and the minimum weight, minimum weight. Make sure you go minimum weight. Facts. Um, for the wingspan, 6'2". Not 6'1". I know 6'1". is like the ideal wingspan for the same height. Why 6'2"? Because look at the driving dunk. You get an 84 driving dunk. You want to make sure you have a high driving dunk for this build. You can have an 84 driving dunk contact dunks. Small contact dunks. You can at least get some, you know, type of contact dunks with this build. You're going to go 6'1". So you get the highest speed and you get small contact dunks. That this build is just going to go absolutely crazy. Body shape, you want to go slight or compact. I'm going, I'm going compact. It's my favorite body style. No, no. You feel what I'm saying? And that's just, that's just perfect. Now, let's go straight over the badges. I ain't even going to waste your time. Driving layup, you would upgrade to about a 50. A 55, I think. I think it's like a 55. Driving dunk. It's gonna it's gonna upgrade anyway. So you wanna upgrade your driving dunk. First things first, you might as well upgrade your driving dunk, right? To an 84. You wanna max that thing out. And you have a 64 driving layup. My fault. You have a 64 because you can't control that if you want that 84 dunk. Um, and the close shot, it's gonna upgrade by itself, but I would just put it down for now. Shooting, you're gonna upgrade your mid-range shot to an 82. 82 mid-range is what you're gonna want for this build. Now I know you won't be able to get blinders and stuff like that. You guys see with blinders, the badge blinders, bro, you're gonna need as you guys can see, you're gonna need about a 90, a 99 mid range to get Blinders Hall of Fame. And this build just doesn't do that. You feel what I'm saying? This build just doesn't have it anyway. You won't be able to unlock it anyway. You feel what I'm saying? So for me, me personally, I will go with the wingspan. You know what I'm saying? You have a 6'2 wingspan, you won't be able to get Blinders Hall of Fame. You're just gonna wanna go with an 82. You just wanna go with an 82 mid range. I'll get three point shot max, 97 three pointer. You're gonna have all these badges over here. All these badges over here. Um, so you're gonna go 97 mid range, 82 three point shot, and then I'm gonna show you guys you get 33 shooting badges. No, pi no pippin, no pippin. You feel what I'm saying? No Scotty pippin. You wanna go 33 shooting badges, and this is perfect for me. This is perfect for me right here. I, oh, I have me personally I have 21 shooting on current gen, bro. I have a 60 clip three point percentage. You give me 33 shooting badges, bro. I'm going, I'm going berserk. I'm going berserk. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm going. This is the badge that I'm going right here. Ball handle. I'm gonna upgrade this first. I'm gonna show you guys max ball handle. Um, Max speed with ball. You have a 94 ball handle and 94 speed with ball. And you have 25 playmaking just off that. But pass accuracy, you upgrade so you have about 34 or 35 passing accuracy, or playmaking badges. And you have a 90 passing vision. 90 passing vision, gold dimer, gold floor general. Your teammates can't be missing with these badges over here, bro. 35, 33, 15? How much badges is that already? That's like a, that's like uh, 70, 80 badges already. That's 80, that's 80 something badges already. And last but not least, defense. Defense, you're gonna have about 12 defense with this build. So you wanna go perimeter defense, you're gonna upgrade to a 64. 64 CJ, that's crazy. You're gonna be in the corner anyway. You're not gonna be guarding the ball. Unless unless you like one and lock down with a 70 uh you know defense, no clans hall of fame, then I guess you know do you. But I'm going to 64. So I can get bronze clans, bronze menace. You know what I'm saying? Just in case those moments where you have to guard ball, you're ready for it. Still, you're gonna upgrade to an 86. 86 still is gonna allow you to get pickpocket gold and interceptor. Those are the two two of the best badges as far as defense goes. You feel what I'm saying? You're already in 96 you have a 96 so that's all you're gonna need actually was that's all the badges you're gonna have and the rest of it's gonna go on your stamina and speed and everything make sure your close shots are 54 so you can get um 14 finishing so 14 33 35 and 12 so far you know what i'm saying we're only in 96 overall we still got a physical to do now fit stamina you can go you can even upgrade the whole thing if you wanted to and get still to say the same overall 96 but you want to shave your stamina down to a 95 because when you get gym rat badge it's so easy to get next gen when you get the gym rat badge it's just gonna simply just help you to, you know what I'm saying, get uh, 99 stamina back. So you're gonna get 99 stamina regardless, you go 95 or 99. Um, speed, you're gonna spend the rest of the speed and acceleration. So speed, I'm going to 90 speed, 90 acceleration. Perfect. And you can put up, you can put the last one on anything you want. Uh, you can put the last, uh, you know, stamina bar on speed, acceleration, any anything that's like not highlighted. So you can put it on playmaking if you wanted to. Like the, it's only one though, it's only one. So I would go, I would go with 91 speed. Why not? You know, 95. You have a 95, 95 speed when you um when you get gym rat. So 95 speed, 99 acceleration, a 90, 94 uh acceleration speed, all that good stuff. Feel me? It's badge, and all, all you gotta do is put the rest on something else. So you can put the rest on like free throw or something. I, I'm not sure how. You, I'm not sure if you can keep the free, uh, three point playmaker name. So you might have to. You might have to. You know, what I'm saying not put it on mid range. You can put. I, I don't think a mid range hurts you honestly. 
I don't think it'll hurt you at all. It won't. It won't hurt the name. I just want the three point playmaker name. You feel what I'm saying? Just get, keep keep that mojo going. You feel what I'm saying? We already had that name. So you can upgrade your driving layup if you wanted to. You get pro touch silver, uh, acrobat bronze. I feel like this is a good way to go. And then the rest, the rest, uh, strength. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Strength and free throw. I'm just gonna put on free throw because you don't need strength. And as you guys see, 99 overall. You feel what I'm saying? That's this. That's it. This is the build right here. Um, the free throw is very low, so I mean, this is like more park build. I'm not really gonna be running wreck like that. If I get it to the line, you know what I'm saying? I don't do it in my free throws. It is what it is. This is the badge. This is the build right here 14, 33, 35, and 12. 94 badges. 94 badges. 94, like, who's touching 94 badges? Let's be realistic. Come on now. Come on now. 94 badges on a guard build. That is insane. It's insane. That's insane. Feel what I'm saying? So, primary takeover, it's up to you. It's your preference. But me personally, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna do spot of precision. I'm not sure how limitless works this year. This might go absolutely stupid. You might be able to fade from the other three point line. I don't know, but for me, I'm going uh, spot up. And if I'm playing for fun, I'm going ankle breaker, or I'm gonna go um, limitless range. Um, so I don't really know what I'm going with. Your teammates are already just fine with playmaking. You don't need to do playmaking. So it's really between shot creating and sharp sharpshooting for me. Uh, for me, I don't really do pull-ups like that. I mean, maybe Tyson will probably want to go like that to make more shots, to make more, you know, threes, the different types of threes when you have to. But uh, it's not my main play style. So, you know, I might want to go for a clip ankle breaker or limitless range. To, for safety, I would just go limitless because I don't know how ankle breakers are this year. And you want to be able to just, you know, get a bucket. Ankle breakers are cool and all, but if you can't finish, what's the point? You feel what I'm saying? If you, pro like, you know what I'm saying? You want to, you know, your, goal, your goal is to score. You want to be able to score as much as possible. You get contact dunks, two sharp takes, maybe even ankle breaking the contact dunk. I might just go, I might just go ankle breaker for safety. You feel what I'm saying? I want to, I want to get some clips of this build too. As you guys can see, three point playmaker's back, coach. Stop playing with me, man. 94 badges on the three point playmaker. You know what I'm saying? Contact dunks off the rip. Builds, this build's gonna be a demon. Now, the thing about vertical, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you guys have made your vertical 64. I'm gonna let you guys know in the pinned comments if you need a certain vertical to get content. Else. If so, I'll redo this whole build over again. I haven't upgraded them yet. Don't worry. We straight. I'm gonna show you guys the badges and everything. You feel what I'm saying? Um, let's go. Let's go test this build out. Now for the finishing. 14 finishing is more than enough for this build. You know what I'm saying? You're, that, that's not even the focal point of this build, but the fact that it can get content just makes it more. Just puts it over the top. Gold slithery. Gold limitless. Uh, pro posterizer silver, you get one more badge, maybe pro touch, or I would go acrobat. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to make a lot of layups, you want to make a good amount of layups. I mean, the layup is pretty low in this build, which is why I'm more so thinking about just dunks, right? I'm more so thinking about dunks, so maybe untrippable. I might just go untrippable bronze, and I feel like that's perfect for me. Shooting gold blinders because you're not going to get Hall of Fame in this build. Bronze dead eye, bronze green machine. I'm just basing off. I'm basing these badges off current gen too, by the way, because I play the same badge. This is the same badges, but I'm not sure like if next gen has even more broken badges. You feel me? Stop and pop, Hall of Fame, really great badge. Catch and shoot, clutch shooter. I say bronze or silver. Uh, difficult shots. We'll, we'll hold off on that for a second. Hall of Fame, Hanzo Hunter for Sholi. Miss Smash Expert, go to Hall of Fame. This badge is really good on current gen. Really good on current gen. So, uh, let's see. Sniper Hall of Fame, that's a must. Really good badge, too. As of right now, it's a really good badge. Uh, Chef, I would go Gold or Hall of Fame. Uh, I, would, I would go Gold because you can't get Hall of Fame if you do this badge right here. And the last badge, last badge, you can put on Green Machine Silver. You know what I'm saying? Just, just for the extra shooting boost or clutch shooter. It's up to you. But this is the badge that I'm going for right here. This is perfect for me. I don't need that. I don't need uh, like 40 shooting badges, which you can get. I, me personally, I don't need it. But, you know, it's helpful to have. But I feel like I'm straight like this. It's perfect for me. Playmaking. Uh, for the playmaking, I'm going to go with uh, Ankle Breaker and hold off for a second because I'm trying to win the game. You feel what I'm saying? Bullet Passer, Silver, Floor General Gold, Hyper Drive Gold, or Hall of Fame. I'm not sure which. Like, if Hyper, let's, let's go Hall of Fame. Let's go Hall of Fame. Why not? Why not? Um, Hall of Fame, Quick Chain, Hyper Drive, uh, Unpluggable Silver. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how it works in the next gen. Stop and Pop, you're going to have at least on bronze. This is bad. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. The difference between no stop and, stop and go and stop and go on bronze is way different. Just like stop and pop is important to make your shots off the quick stop, this stop and go badge is important to, you know, chain up your dribble moves, change the move, and just stop and go. Stop and go. Simple. You know what I'm saying? Quick first step, Hall of Fame, some must. Um, needle Threader, Bullet Pass is honestly better than Needle Threader. Glue Hands, another underrated badge. I've seen it. Um, Jay Stream, my boy Jay Amir. Like, Jay, when you have Glue Hands and someone throws a touchdown pass, you're going to catch it off the rip and just shoot it. You don't have to, you know, fumble the ball, you know, take a couple steps to land and gather your feet. So it's a really good badge to have on the fast breaks. Dammer Goal for your teammates. Bailout silver. I feel like this is perfect right here. Um, matter of oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
we're gonna take off hyperdrive and quick chain turn it down a little bit handles for days almost i don't know how i almost forgot that handles for days on gold or silver this is perfect right here this is all you this is all you're gonna need so that's all you're gonna need need um you can take off some badges if you really want to maybe put dimer uh or bailout on bronze you have one more badge you can put on anything you really want to um downhill is pointless um hyperdrive is way better than downhill honestly so it's up to you. You can, you can even put you can even put on bronze ankle breaker if you really want to. But this is this is what I'm going for right here for now. Like I said, I haven't maxed this build. I haven't upgraded this build, so this is the batch I'm going right now. And as last but not least, the defense, dog. The defense. I'm gonna move my webcam real quick. My flash should have did this earlier. But for the defense, for the defense, you wanna uh you wanna make your ankle not ankle breakers. My fault. Hustler bronze. It's a really good batch for loose balls. Pause once again. Um, you know when you're trying to get those loose ball. And when trying to catch it out, like let's say you rip someone and then like they're going after the ball mad fast. That's because of hustle. Hustle is gonna help you get loose. Maybe uh you know loose balls. Maybe rebounds. The rebounds will be bouncing away. I think that's what loose ball is too. Like when it hits off the rim and nobody gets it, you can hustle faster. Um, interceptor gold because you're, you're gonna be playing corner with this build. Bronze man is bronze clamps because some situations you're gonna have to guard ball. You can't duck that and pickpocket gold. This is a perfect bash setup for me right here. I'm not gonna be running the one. I mean the lock, you know what I'm saying? This unless like I'll make a lateral lock down if I want to run lock. So this is perfect for me. 12 defense, 35. You really get 92 badges with, or 94? Is it 90? Yeah, 94 badges with this build. This build it absolutely goes crazy. I love y'all boys, man. Please be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe, share. Let's try to get this video to 50. No, 60 likes and we drop it in the next video. video. 60 likes, we drop it in the next video. Let's get straight to it. Love y'all boys, man. See you guys in the next one. Peace.